I also decided to switch back to uh, the auto mode because the autofocus on this is supposed to be pretty good. Like right now it's got a hard lock on my face, but it doesn't seem to be sticking with that. So I'm gonna play around with it a little bit. Apologies if this one's a little blurry. See if I can get that back to work in order. All right, well, I guess we'll have to see if this one looks any better. Just turned on one of the other autofocus features or modes. I've been using the manual focus for, I guess a couple weeks now, and I actually felt like I was getting pretty good at it. The only issue I have with it is if the subject changes, meaning what I'm trying to focus on, changes frequently, either the distance or what I'm looking at. Like, I'm looking at me, now I'm looking at the dog, now I'm looking at the yard. And the autofocus on this from everything I've read, people, and I'm going to keep moving it around, so apologies, but people say that it's, it's pretty good, especially for vlogging. And you should use the manual focus if you know that if you know what you're recording, you know the subject, the distance, the lighting, and all those things. So like when I'm sitting at my desk, I think the manual mode works great. But right now in the kitchen, just kind of moving this thing around, you know, getting a whole bunch of different angles, some slightly different lighting. It's doing a really good job of just tracking my face. So I'll try it on auto probably for the rest of the day unless I go out in the yard with Eli and you know, see if it see how it turns out, maybe compare it to yesterday's or the day before. So, but something I just thought of this morning, I was like, yeah, let's try it. And then I was reading about it. People seem to really like it. It's, it's pretty fast. It's not super fast like some of the high-end Sony cameras, but it gets the job done. About to have my first cup of coffee of the day, edit yesterday's content, which should be fairly quick. Uh, and then I think I'm gonna play with Eli. I've been working with him the past couple days on some of his obedience behaviors and just general training. And I'd like to work with him on the place command where he goes to his dog mat. So I'm gonna work with him on that command just to kind of proof the command, get him better at it increase the duration that'll stay on the mat so that he doesn't just jump up if the doorbell rings or something. He's actually pretty good with the command already, but it's just something that I can I know I can drill that's a command that's that's valuable. And then I was thinking I might actually take him for a walk. So I'm gonna get to editing and then move on with the day. Out. Sit. Down. Watch. Yes. Right here. Good, sit. Good, shake. Good, down. Good. Come. Yes. Right here. Out. Good. Sit. Watch, good. Good. Yes, get it. Good. Right here. Right here. Back. Back. Out. Good. Yes. Out. Sit. Yes. Come here. Get good. Out. Just got done playing in the back with this guy and then with Hans and Lenny working with them on tug which is way more physically active and engaging than you would initially think so I'm actually pretty worn out right now but I was working with my brother's dogs and helping my brother you know teach them tug get good engagement with the dogs so that they're hanging on the toy they're returning the toy when they take it you know they're biting it with intensity and, and you know bringing the energy so he, he decided he was in the shower first it's about 90 something degrees outside, so it's super hot. It's way more physically active than you would think. Um, and it's a very important game for your dog to know and to be able to play. So you can do a lot off the game of tug. Eli, watch. So after I take a shower, cool off, and relax for a little bit, um, I know my brother wanted to run the store. I don't think I'm going to go with him just because it's going to be crazy because it's Memorial Day weekend. So after that, I think we're probably going to grill out, maybe have some steaks or something for dinner. Overwatch team is now in the grand finals. And we that match starts in probably about 40 minutes or so. There's a third, fourth place, best of three that's going on right now. And then we'll be up after that. Just finished eating. We grilled some steaks tonight. They were pretty good. Don't really know what the rest of the night is going to entail. Now that dinner's over, just fed all the dogs. They're actually all out right now, being very good and calm in their, lo in their designated locations, which is always good. After our finals, the night will be freed up and... 
again, I don't really know what the plan is, so um, I might jump on the computer for a little bit, get some video stuff done, but I don't have anything that I need to get done today. There's no rush to respond to anybody or to get anything crazy done because it's Memorial Day weekend, so it ends up being a little bit more free time. Spent a lot of time the past couple days, maybe five, six days, uh, just brushing up on the dog training, dog obedience, that kind of thing, and that's why you guys have seen me working with Eli a little bit more. So, chance that I'll end up going out in the backyard playing tug with him for a little bit and just getting some more engagement and continue on that path. If not, maybe I'll stream, but at this point I'd say it's unlikely and it should just be a relaxing rest of the Sunday. And don't forget Memorial Day. Don't forget the meaning of Memorial Day. If you know any veterans, if you know any family of veterans or veteran families, especially if there's a fallen hero in that family, go out of your way tomorrow, thank them, do something nice for them. Remember what Memorial Day is actually for. Don't think it's hot dogs and hamburgers, and yeah, that's what happens, that's what people do on Memorial Day, but that's not the meaning of the day. So go out of your way tomorrow to do something nice or to thank a veteran for their service. Watch. Yes. It is now 11, uh, about 11.30. Uh, I'm gonna probably play on the computer for a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna game at all. Just knock out a couple of things. I might start editing today's vlog, but I'll probably just poke around, browse the internet, message a couple of people, see what's going on. Watch a stream or two, hang out and chat, and just that kind of thing. We get to bed, a little after midnight, just chill out. This will probably be the last video for me of the day. It's a good day overall. Spent a lot of time with the dogs. Spent a lot of time with Eli, which is good. And yeah, just been really enjoying just kind of getting back into that world, working with the dogs, and you know, helping to shape behavior, practices obedience. And today was a good day for that for sure. So probably do a little bit more of that tomorrow. And enjoy the Memorial Day. Don't have any like barbecues or parties or anything at this point right now planned to go to. So should be home most of the day tomorrow, I think. But might take the dogs out for a walk and, and get some more time with Eli. You know, practicing on distraction, maybe take them to the field that's just right up the road. That's pretty much all I got going on. So, gonna wrap up the night, hang out for a little bit, and then get to bed. Probably a little bit before 1 a.m. Call it a night.